Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, July 5th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, it fell quite drastically on Friday and that had major implication for indices, stocks, uh, commodities, and so on. And of course, also current major currency pairs. So this was always going to happen. We were getting uh, very overstretched here in the outer side, got very stretched here in the bullish band, and then bang, to the downside. So the question is how far we will fall or if this just continues to fall. And uh, at the moment, yeah, it kind of looks like it will continue to fall at least for the next uh, one or two trading days, probably the next three trading days. And... Um, whether or not we manage to bounce from the 20 exponential or the 200 or probably the middle of the bullish band that is also going to be the question if they fall down here and then continue higher or we fall and then drop lower and that of course that will be very bullish if we drop them significantly lower and it will be uh, less bullish or more bearish if we if the us dollar becomes more or it starts appreciating becomes more expensive so technical negatives here are all favoring the downside at this current stage, um, or they are turning around, to be fair honest. MACD is still bullish, but it is leveling off. Stochastic is crossed the signal line, becoming bearish. CCI is still bullish, and the RSI is bearish at this current stage. So let's look at oil. Yes, so oil is trading at 74.86, and... Um, there doesn't look like any end in sight for this rally. If it pulls back towards the middle, it has been bought into. If it pulls back towards the 50 at the bottom of the bullish band, it has also been bought into. But at this current stage, we are overbought. Technically, indicators otherwise are very bullish. And the pullback towards the middle here at 72, and then probably 70, and then the 50 moving average, 68. They are probably all areas where buyers will come back in. 80 looks like it's going to be the long-term target here. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas is, um, yes, it, it looked like it was going to tumble, expected it to tumble significantly. Um, and if you just look at it from a technical perspective here, uh, MACD is still bullish, Stochastic is bullish, CGI is bullish, and RSI is bullish as well. We are still significantly overbought, so um, pullbacks should be expected. But question is when, how far? So 3.5, 50 moving out, the 20 exponential moving average, and 3.3, the simple here, 3.36. That's probably all areas where buyers will come back in. Drop below here, then we have the 50, and then the bottom of the bullish band at 200 moving average. But as long as weather conditions are as they are, then we'll probably see this just going higher, pull back towards the middle, will most likely be bought into. So let's look at copper. So copper is still struggling with the 20 exponential. If you look at technical indicators, they are still not looking very bullish, to be fairly honest. Um, it's not until we break above the 20 and go targeting the 50 and break above the 50, that probably this market will become bullish again. So we had this massive run here for a full year rally to the upside. And now since mid or beginning of July, roughly mid July, uh, mid May, sorry, uh, we have been basically in a downtrend. And the question is whether or not this downtrend will go all the way down to the 200 moving average. It will travel this way up towards four, this way down here, and it'll probably collide in this uh, round uh, four area. And then we rally to the upside. That is to be seen. If US dollar continues to appreciate, then that will work against this, um, against copper and oil and so on. So let's look at gold, and especially against gold. So US dollar falls, gold rallies significantly. But yes, this was also always going to happen. It fell off a cliff while it got significantly overstretched, significantly oversold has recovered a little bit. There's probably a little bit more recovery here. We'll probably rally up towards the 20 or the middle of the bullish band before it getting rejected. This also depends on US and dollar, whether or not it continues to appreciate. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is, uh, MACD is still um, 
bearish, but is really turning around there. So it will probably cross tomorrow. Stochastic is bullish. CGI is still bearish. And the RSI is bullish as well. If we break below these candlestick here, 70.50, then we're probably going to the bottom, uh, double bottom here, 16.78. So let's look at silver. So silver did rally up towards the 20 exponential. It really stabilized here at the 200 moving average. And the question is whether or not we break down from here again or go ahead towards the 50 moving average at the here at 27. Technical indicators are all turning around for silver. So momentum is to the upside at this point. But if we get rejected here, then we'll tumble back towards the 200 moving average. And the break there will drop us towards 25 and then lower than that. So let's look at platinum. So platinum is, uh, yes, how do you say this? It has been struggling with the 20 exponential. We can see it here, 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 and also here. And now we're approaching the 20 exponential yet again. Technical indicators otherwise are looking fairly bullish. And stochastic is still, now MACD is still in negative territory, but has crossed. And um, if we get rejected here, then we'll probably drop all the way down back towards uh, 1033. Rally above the 20 exponential, then the 50 becomes into play at 1164 and so on. So it, at the moment, it looks like the 20 exponential is going to cross the 200 and the 50 is going to cross somewhere here. So both of those are very negative for this market. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium, yes, so it fell, rallied significantly, and now we're really struggling again where we struggled back in the past. So question is that whether or not we just turn around here and head back towards the 200 moving average, and then we have this going back and forward like we saw last year. So this time last year, it also just went back and forward in a range, and uh, that would be fantastic because that is... Uh, probably the most um, uh, predictable trading there is when you just have a square range where the bottom and the top and you just buy and sell within those in that range but as to be seen it went not to be fall back towards 200 moving average roughly at 2.5 and then uh, 2.8 will be our our upper range technical indicators are all favoring the upside at this current stage so break above the 50 then we're probably going back towards the previous size so let's get aluminium. So aluminium continues to rally. It tests uh, the same area here yet again. We can see that we ran into massive resistant here and we ran also massive resistant here. So question is whether or not we break above here. If we do, then we're probably going towards a 2.7550. So if you look at technical indicators, they are all favoring the upside at the moment. Max Stochastic is crossing the signal line just at this current stage. Break below here, most likely find support at the uh, 20 exponential at the 24.52. So let's look at nickel. So nickel rallied from the middle of the bullish band. That is a very good sign. We did rally up towards 18,421. Broke down and then ended in positive on Friday. Technical indicators here are, well, MACD is flat, stochastic is flat, CGI is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So momentum is still to the upside. And as we bounce from here, that is a fairly good sign. If you take out these previous highs here, then we'll probably go into 19,000. So let's look at sugar. So sugar continue, it continues with its rally, but still we are approaching area where we have found massive resistance in the past. And we need to break above here in order to go to these previous highs. So this was just completely overbought condition. So um, at this current stage, we are still getting very overstretched. So pull back towards the middle here it should be the best strategy uh, and a rally from there. And then we'll probably go higher. We are also approaching overbought conditions. Otherwise, technical indicators are very bullish. If we were to break below the middle of the bullish band, then we were probably looking at 0 0.1614. So let's look at cotton. So cotton uh, continues in this, uh, well, now we can say uh, it's creating lower lows, so it's basically an uptrend. So uh, if we have, 
line here and this probably should be around the bottom of this market probably a little bit higher roughly there should be the bottom of this market and then we have the roughly the highs of this market around this area here so getting up towards that and we're probably gonna just go higher and higher in this market here and if you manage to take out these highs, then we're probably going towards the zero point uh, 94.91. Technical indicators are fairly mixed. MACD is bullish. Stokaski is, um, is um, bearish. Uh, CCI is bullish. And the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at Kokoa. So Kokoa broke down significantly on, uh, on Friday. And uh, now it more looks like that we are going to test uh, the previous lows kind of at the very bottom so if we don't manage to break above here head back towards the top and then we are probably going to talk about um testing these previous lows from last year so this was basically october november last year where we were at 22.42 and then also here 2089 so Yes, we are very bottom of this range, and the technical indicators are looking dreadful for this market. It has been in a fairly steady downtrend, very extremely choppy trading, horrible market to trade. So that's why I've basically stayed away from this for a very long time. So, so at this current stage, yes, we if this breaks, then twenty two fifty. That's probably going to be our next target. So let's look at wheat. So it uh, had a massive rally on, on, on Wednesday and also on Thursday and then just a bank. Question is where we are going from here. 200 moving average has proven to be very supportive uh, in this market. However, 50 moving average really dealt a blow to this rally. If we were to rally above that, then we could go back to these previous highs. But now it kind of looks like the 20 expansion is going to move this way, 250 is going to move this way, and we're just going to pressure this lower. Otherwise, we could also just go sideways here, but it is to be seen where we go from here. Technical indicators are fairly all over the place, so it's just a waiting game. So, hope you find this helpful. You can always support us by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.